run one at a time. I guess that must make life a little easier. Now you don't have to tune them up together. It's, it's a little bit easier. Yeah. You've only got one side of the team. What has helped even more than that is we have finally got to the point we've got them to leave them on the same band. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this particular one stays uh, Someday a lot of that stuff will make it to a ham flea market. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. Somebody will sell one little piece of that for 50 bucks or something. Let's get recycled, I guess. Yeah, we, we have them rebuilt. Uh, the, the rebuilt ones just don't hold up as well as uh, Is that right? I don't know if they've been rebuilt too many times or what, but uh, we don't don't get the life out of them anymore. But nobody builds a new one. Yeah. Here again, those things were, oh gosh, uh, 1950s, 1960s technology. And how many people use a transmitter like this anyway? Yeah. <clears throat> These are serial numbers. I think we got one through three here. And really? Four through six. And wow. Or one or the other. I don't remember. So, but, you know, like, there's just not that many of them. And what is this stage here? This is, uh, okay, the, the upper portion of this is the uh, driver stage. We, uh, over in the rack, we have a little solid state amp that feeds, uh, feeds the RF signal over here. This amplifies it up to about 5 kilowatts. And then this section down here is the audio. Audio comes in and it's, it's uh, boosted up here. Well, that's the audio on the bottom. On the bottom. Now, right. we send all of this to what we call the MA. It's the modulated amplifier in this transmitter. Mm -hmm. And the RF <coughs> and... Uh, audio both go to that stage and then from that point on it's uh, it's a modulated signal that's 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 amplified and what are those tubes those 807? 807 and what are the other you would have to ask, uh, 211s or uh, something like that
heavy duty audio. They don't all stay with you. Yeah. Oh, this one's burning. This one's lit up. This one's on the air. Radio that glows in the dark. I don't know if you've <laughs> heard of that. This, uh, in the state here, there's a uh, 807 and a 4400. And then that feeds this pair of 4 1000 or so. So I guess it's probably about a 3000 one out of three or so. This is your... Oh, yeah. We haven't even been in the control room there yet. Oh, let's see here. Do we have the... Uh, I don't know what... Uh, I don't remember what we did have. I don't remember what these were. I have pictures of them, but I don't remember. I'm just trying to see if you actually had all of that here. Let's see. It. Anyway, uh, this... These are frequency synthesizers that we use to, to uh, this is where this thing starts out. We get about a volt of some frequency out of here, which we run through a little broadband amp and feed over to the transmitter. All of this was crystal and, and uh, two, bo uh, two oscillators in years past, but that, we've done away with that now. And uh, we feed a signal out of here on frequency, the, whatever frequency we want to use. This is the frequency determining unit for each of these transmitters. Everything except the two in the back, they have their own built-in uh, fre uh, frequency a synthesizer. Fluke. Mm -hmm. I remember using fluke power supplies. 